Hello Vinyl community, it's Mikko back again in the Vinyl Corner. This is the first part of my Q&A thread and uh, I wanted to start from Robert Z's questions. Uh, Robert made a separate video for, for his questions and uh, I think he deserves his own video response too. So I have Robert here on my iPad here. So let's see what Robert has has to ask. Hey Miko, how are you baby? How are you? Good? It's me. It's Robert. Yeah. Go. Where are you at, man? Are you out by the garden watching this, possibly? I love you, garden. Actually, uh, I wanted to make my uh, video response at my garden, but uh, the weather is so so nice at the moment that uh, I just wanted to make this quick. So, sorry, Robert. Maybe, maybe next time. Okay, let's continue. Let me ask you a question just now. Because you know nothing simple with me, Miko. I just, I'm not going to come in your comment section of your video and just type questions. I got to do a video for you. Because I got to be on here asking you the questions. Because I want, I want you to get the full soaking in of what, where I'm coming from with these. All right? There's going to be several. You can pick and choose as you like. Maybe some you won't like. I don't know. I hope you answer them all, though. Here's the first question. Okay. You live in Finland. Now, here's the question, okay? You're not allowed to live in Finland anymore. You're not in any trouble, okay? You didn't get in trouble or anything. There's there's no problems or anything. It's just that you gotta boogie, you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta pack up and you gotta live in a different country. Now, you can pick any country in the world to live out the remainder of your life. But you're going to be living in this country, whatever you pick, for the rest of your life. So you got to give this some serious thought now, okay? What country would you live in if you could not live in Finland anymore? Okay, question, that's question number one. All right. That's, that's an easy one. Uh, I would say Sweden. Our beloved neighbor, uh, Sweden is a very beautiful, beautiful country and uh, actually I used to be quite good in Sweden, Swedish in, in school. Of course I have forgotten most of the stuff I have learned but uh, I suppose it would be quite easy to learn the language again and uh, I would say Sweden if I really have had to live there uh, now from now on uh, grow up my kids and uh, live there with my family but uh, uh, we we've had some uh, serious or not so serious uh, discussion with my wife that uh, when we are old we will move to Spain I'm not sure sure about that it would be a little too far to move my uh, vinyl collection there all right that was my first answer let's Go on. Question number two. You have a choice to make, Miko. Look at your collection. Are you in your music room? Look at your vinyl, your CD collection, right? Okay. Now, imagine this. You're going to have to make a choice, one or the other. Either you get to keep all of your collection, just as it is, 
Look at it. Are you looking at it? It gets to stay right there. It doesn't go anywhere. You get to keep every single item there. You could even add to it as time goes on, just like you do, right? Everything is normal, right? Except you cannot ever listen to any of it anymore. You are not able to listen to any of this stuff. You have the physical format. You can look at it. You can look at the cover. You can open the gatefold. You can take out your inserts. You can look at the vinyl and smell it and whatever, right? But you can't listen to these items, but you get to keep it all. That's choice number one. Or choice number two, you can listen to music, okay? The radio, I guess Spotify, any kind of this digital shit. iTunes, your iPad, your smartphone, the radio, right? You can listen to music, but all of your physical stuff has to go. You can't keep it anymore. So you're left with the choice. Is that more important to you, or is the listening of the music more important to you? You can't have both, in my question. Only one or the other. Which do you pick? That's question number two. Oh boy. Uh, let me think about this for a while. Uh, You know how much I like the items. I really like to uh, be able to touch, touch them and uh, feel them and uh, you know smell them and uh, maybe even taste them. But. Uh, <clears throat> more than anything I really like to listen to them so uh, it would be too hard if I had all my all my physical items if I couldn't uh, listen to them uh, maybe it would be even hard harder to have them uh, but uh, then and not have them at all, you know. So I would uh, definitely pick the option two. So I would uh, like to be able to listen to them or listening to music. Uh, I perhaps I could live with uh, Spotify and uh, iTunes music and uh, services like that. Of course, my uh, life wouldn't be be the same without without my uh, music collection in physical formats. But uh, I just uh, couldn't live without the music. So I hope that answer is is uh, good enough for you, Robert. If if that was. Uh, the thing you you wanted to know. All right, let's go to the question number three. Question number three. You get the time comes, you know, down the road. You know, life is what life is, Miko. We know this. You and I, we're right there with this. Okay, life is what it is, and and the time finally comes if it's possible, right, and, and if he's around, truly around, you get to meet God. Picture this. Miko is in front of God. However, whatever view, whatever it is that you have of the supreme entity, the, the okay, 
even even if you don't believe, you know, like some people don't believe in all that stuff, but let's just work with me. All right. Let's just say that, holy cow, there really is this person, this, 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 there really is God here in front of me and I'm in front of him. Okay. Miko, you get to ask God one question. You want to ask him this one question. What do you ask him? What is the question that you're asking him? And he's got to tell, he's got to answer you. Okay, that's question. Was that question number three? Is it getting deep in here? All right, we are getting deep in here. Uh, the first question which came into my mind is, uh, what the hell am I doing here? Uh, shouldn't I be downstairs? Uh, but seriously, uh, I would have so many questions to ask, but uh, if I had only one question, uh, that would be, uh, who are you? You know, which God from all the thousands and thousands of gods you are. So if I had only one question to ask, uh, that would be definitely it. Or maybe even if I had an unlimited amount of questions, uh, I think that should be the question number one. All right, let's continue with uh, question number four. Okay, question number four, Miko. I got a lot of them, all right? Just, there's only like, this might be the last one. Um, have, no, there might be one after this. Oh, okay, here's question number four. Have you ever wondered in your life while you're listening to music, it could either be a song or it could be a whole album like there's a lot of concept albums, you know, where it's a running story throughout the entire album. We know this. We have rock operas and so forth, okay? Or it could just be an individual song, all right, whatever the case is. Um, have you ever wondered to this day that you're still unsure about, what the fuck are these people singing about, man? I mean, do I need to enter some kind of upper level of cosmos, freaking sensory kind of thing for me to understand what the hell these damn lyrics are about? You know, I mean, do, does it take an, an upper level of, of some type of spiritual education that I need to achieve to understand what these dudes are talking about in this song? Have you ever wondered that about either an entire album or a particular song? What in the world are they freaking talking about in this damn music? Because I'll be damned if I can understand that the lyrics are just so overly complicated to you. It, it's just such a, you know, how, how songs can be sometimes that you're like, I need an explanation here. Now, I dig the tune. It's great. I love the song, but I have no clue what the fuck they're singing about. It's totally over my head. All right. I Someone needs to help me with this. Lyric translation here. Okay. That's song number four. Or song number four. Question number four. Please. All right. That's a uh, tough one. Uh, usually, or most of the times, I, I don't uh, listen to the lyrics so much. Or... or uh, maybe if they're, they're in uh, Finnish, I, I listen to the lyrics more, more. but if they are uh, in German or, or Swedish or in English, I don't uh, actually listen to lyrics so, so much, but uh, I, I think the music is more important for me. And the lyrics, but uh, for example, I would uh, like to know 
So what? Uh, what's the story behind uh, the smells like teen spirit? Uh, I think the lyrics are quite quite deep. Uh, uh, I would really like to know what stuff I would have to. Uh, what kind of mushrooms I would have to eat to uh, understand the lyrics of the of the song. But uh, otherwise, uh, uh, if I don't, don't don't understand the lyrics, that's that's uh, okay for me because uh, the music is more important for me. But uh, usually. In Finnish music, I, I concentrate more more on, on, on the lyrics too. All right, let's continue. Question number five. I'm going to do five questions. Okay. When you were real young, and you were just getting into music, you're you're first listening to music. You know how it is when you're young. You're trying to fit in. You're trying to you know. You don't know really who you are yet. You're trying to have this peer pressure. You're trying to fit in with people. You you know, be accepted and all this psycho babble bullshit of what it is when you're a kid, right? Did you ever listen to stuff because your friends or other people around you listened to it and you wanted to kind of fit in with the crowd? You know what I mean? You wanted to be in with the in crowd, if you know what I'm saying, but you hated the shit. You were like, man, I can't stand this shit, but I gotta, I gotta go along with that. I like it because I want to fit in with my friends here. Okay. Did that ever happen to you? And then as time passed, did you ever actually really start to like the shit? And it took off on you there, you know, in a way where you really dug the music as you matured and you got older and you said, man, I used to hate that when I was, you know, growing up and I was young just to fit in with my friends. But now... I got all their damn albums for crying out loud or a lot of the music from this particular group or so forth. Did that ever happen to you? You listened to stuff just to fit in. You wanted to be cool, but you really hated it. You'd, you'd be like, man, this shit sucks. You know, I, I'd rather be listening to my Justin Bieber collection or something. You know what I mean? But then as you got older, you really dug it. All right, the fifth and... Uh... The last question and a tough one again. Uh, I really don't think uh, I was just trying to fit in with my friends and uh, with uh, listening to stuff I didn't like uh, just to impress them or, or anything like that. Uh, I never was was the uh, cool kid, and uh, I don't. At least I don't remember anything like that. That I just listening to some crap uh, I didn't like, just to fit in or trying to impress anyone. Uh, of course, I wanted to know what. Uh, older boys we were listening to or or what kind of stuff uh, there was but uh, I think that was only because I, I wanted to find new music and uh, uh, in those days it wasn't so easy to find new music there were no internet or or uh, there were no uh, music shows on on TV, or only couple of couple of them in a week or something. Uh, so it wasn't easy to find new music. Uh, almost the only only thing was uh, uh, from your friends, and uh, so I wanted to know what what other people are listening to and uh, trying to find some stuff uh, from them, but uh, I, I don't re really remember that uh, I listened to anything just to 
trying to fit in. So thanks Robert for your uh, questions and uh, taking your time to shoot the video for them and uh, I hope my uh, answers are okay with you or at least I uh, try to answer honestly for all of your questions and uh, uh, let's hope I understood the questions well enough and uh, thanks again Robert you really rule and uh, all of you people watching this uh, check out my original uh, Q&A thread and uh, post your questions there and uh, I will shoot my part 2 answering video pretty soon so if you have something to ask ask from me uh, please be quick and uh, hit me with your questions all right thanks for watching until next time all right man i'll see you later take care